lecture 5 that is rank of matrix part 2 in this lecture we cover the remaining part of the lecture 4 now there is a very important point that is if the rank of the matrix is r then there exists a two non singular matrices p and q such that the p a q is what is an ir ir is a, the normal form of the matrix now take an example reduce the matrix into two non singular matrices p and q such that p a q is the normal form so we have a matrix a is equal to 1 1 3 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 so we have to reduce that matrix into two non singular matrices so how we do that so we start we just write the matrix a is equal to i r a i c here i r is what is an identity matrix of order r r is what is a number of rows in the given matrix and this i c is what is an identity matrix identity matrix of order c c means column number of column in that matrix so in the given matrix we have an order 3 cross 3 so we write a is equal to i3 a i3 so we write a matrix a that is 1 1 3 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 is equal to now write the identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 then write a and write again the identity matrix of order c c that is number of column in that matrix a now what we do we convert that matrix into identity matrix and when we convert that matrix into the normal form or say identity matrix so we apply the row and column operation on that matrix so if we apply the row operation on that matrix then the row operation same time the row operation apply on that matrix on the left hand side if we apply the column operation so we apply the column operation on that matrix not on that matrix that is ir and ic you have to remember what is ir and ic now convert that matrix into the normal form and hope all of you know the previous lecture how to convert a matrix into the normal form so we apply the operation in the simple way is to search the first element of the first row that is a leading element non zero element and by the help of that element make this and this below element 0 on right hand side element 0 so let's start we start an operation we can apply the row operation first r2 r2 minus r1 and on the similar time we can apply the operation on r2 r3 minus 2 r1 sorry it's in r3 now the matrix become reduced 1 0 0 and and become 1 and this is what minus 1 and 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 this is minus 2 and this is again minus 2 and minus 2 now is equal to because we are applying the operation on row transformation so we apply the operation on the left hand side you always remember this is what this is ir and this is ic this matrix is formed by identity matrix formed by the number of rows in that matrix and this is the identity matrix which is formed by the number of column in that matrix 
because sometimes the order of the matrix is not same or says the matrix is not a square so we apply the operation on that matrix the same operation so first r2 r2 minus r1 so we get 1 0 0 this is minus 1 this is 1 0 and this become minus 3 0 minus 3 times of 0 is 0 1 minus 0 that is 1 now write a and this matrix is as it is because we apply the row operation so the row operation is apply on i r only now the second now we come to the second the same procedure we come to the second non-zero element of second row which is minus 2 so by the help of that element or we can say by the help of that element you make this and this 0 so we apply the operation c2 c2 minus c1 and the similar time we can apply the c3 c2 minus sorry c3 minus c1 now what will happen 1 0 0 this is 0 minus 2 minus 2 this becomes 0 2 so at that time we apply the column operation so we apply the operation on that ic matrix not ir so ir is same minus 3 0 1 0 0 0 1 a and this become what we apply the operation on the second column so first is same this become minus 1 minus 2 this will become 1 0 minus 1 0 1 Now we search the non-zero element of the second row and that is minus 2. So this is a leading element and by the help of that element make it the below element 0 and the right hand side element 0. So first of all we make that element 1. So we apply the operation that is R2 minus 1 by 2 time of R2. So that matrix reduce into 1 0 0 0 1 minus 2 0 1 minus 2 so because we apply the operation on row matrix row operation so the same operation on the right hand side we apply on that matrix so this matrix become 1 0 0 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 minus 3 0 1 and the matrix IC is same because we apply the operation on row now now the, by the help of that element make the below element 0 or we say that element 0 so we apply the column operation on C3 c3 minus c2 so it become 1 0 0 0 1 minus 2 0 0 and this become also 0 because we apply the operation on column so on the right hand side we apply the operation on that matrix so this matrix is same 1 0 0 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 0 minus 3 0 1 a and this operation apply on that matrix we get 1 minus 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 0 1 now by the help of that element make the below element 0 so we apply the operation r3 r3 plus 2 time of r2 so that matrix become 1 0 0 0 1 0 and this is 0 0 0 here because we apply the operation on R row operation so 
we apply the so operation on that matrix which is previously we say i r so it reduce 1 0 0 it's the same 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 and this will become minus 2 minus 1 1 and the column matrix is same 0 1 minus 1 0 0 1 now what we see this matrix is now reduced to a identity matrix so it is of order we can write i2 0 0 and this matrix and this matrix after reducing the given matrix into the normal form so this matrix is of form we can say this is a new matrix so we can say this is p and this is say q and a so now p o q is what is p a q is what is i2 so here we have to note we can say the rank of the matrix is what 2 and matrix a is reduced into the two non singular matrix that is p which is 1 1 by 2 minus 2 0 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 0 0 1 and another matrix that is q which is 1 minus 1 0 0 1 minus 1 0 0 1 so these are two non singular matrix find the two non singular matrix p and q such that the normal form of a is what p a q so this is the normal form of a so the matrix a is given this matrix has an order 3 cross 4 and also we have to find the rank of that matrix so what we do here we know the number of row is what 3 and number of column is what 4 so we just write a is equal to i3 a i4 here i3 is what is an identity matrix of order 3 this is i r and this is what i4 this is an identity matrix of order 4 this is i c we can say i c so we write the matrix <coughs> equal to the i r that is order 3 and i c order 4 number of columns so now we convert that matrix into the normal form so we start with the first element that is a leading element by the help of that element make this element 0 below element 0 so we apply the operation on r2 r2 minus r1 and on r3 r3 minus r1 so the matrix is reduced to 1 3 1 0 0 3 1 2 6 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 2 4 now because we apply the operation on r means row operation so these operation apply on that i r so the matrix i r reduced to 1 0 0 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 0 1 and that matrix is same because we apply the operation on row transformation now we convert that matrix into the normal form for that by the help of that element we convert it into the zero by using the true transformation so apply the operation on c2 c3 c4 so the c2 is what c2 minus 3 time of c1 and on c3 we apply the operation c3 minus 6 time of c1 and on c4 we apply the operation c4 plus c1 so the matrix become 1 0 0 0 1 2 0 minus 1 2 0 2 4 and because we apply the operation what the column operation so these column operation apply on that ic that is an identity matrix which is formed by the number of column in the matrix so what we get so the i r is as it is in the previous step so the, we change the ic that is an identity matrix which become 1 minus 3 minus 6 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 now the next step 
by the help of that element we convert the below element to zero so apply the operation that is r3 minus 2 time of r2 so the matrix become 1 0 0 0 1 minus 1 2 0 0 0 0 so here we apply the operation r so that operation apply on that i r the matrix become 1 0 0 minus 1 1 0 1 minus 2 1 so and this matrix is same now the next operation apply the next operation that is in by the help of that element make this element 0 and that element 0 so we apply the operation on column 3 and column 4 column 3 c3 c3 plus c2 and on c4 c4 minus 2 c2 so the matrix become 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 and the last row is 0 so these operation because this is a column operation so we apply the operation on that matrix on the right hand side so the matrix this matrix reduced to in that form that is 1 minus 3 9 minus 9 7 0 1 1 minus 2 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 so on that stage what we see this matrix the original matrix a is reduced in the identity form that is this make i2 and now this is a normal form of matrix a so we can say this is what this is p and this is q so these are two non-singular matrix and p a q is what is in normal form of the matrix so p is 1 minus 1 1 0 1 minus 2 0 0 1 and q is 1 minus 3 minus 9 7 0 1 1 minus 2 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 and here we also we can say the rank of that matrix is what 2 now there are some basic property of rank when you are studying the rank of a matrix so you have to know or this property keep in your mind when you are studying the rank of matrix the first one the rank of the matrix A and its transpose is always same. The rank of the null matrix is and the rank of non singular matrix A of order n is what n. The rank of identity matrix of order n is what n because it is a normal form of that. For rectangular matrix A of order m cross n, then we say the rank of A is what? Minimum of m into n, that is the rank cannot exceed the smaller of m and n. For n square matrix, if this matrix is square and of order n, and if the rank of A is what? n, then we say the determinant of that matrix is 0 and also we can say the matrix is non-singular. And for n square matrix, suppose of order n and if the rank is less than n then we say what the determinant of that matrix is 0 and that is matrix is a singular thank you student this is all about the rank of the matrix try some problems at your home and the next topic we will be continuing the next lecture thank you